Hey, Coach Miller here with B2B Lax, and we're back in the weight room with an upper lift. We're gonna focus on some explosive movements and get some good upper stuff going. Also, we're gonna kick it off with a warm up, my staple. I've been doing this warm up for like almost a year now. You can see it in one of the articles that I wrote. I have a link to that in the description of this video on why I do that. But real quick guys, if you like these videos, if you like what I'm putting out, make sure you subscribe and like this video. You'll be able to get notifications on when I put out all the videos. I'm gonna be putting out a lot of stuff coming up. And also, one other thing, below this video in the description of this video, you can get on my weekly email list where I put out additional content in addition to the YouTube stuff. So like my weekly article that talks about everything from training to mindset to lacrosse to lacrosse IQ, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you sign up for that as well. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna dive into the weight room. Like I said, we're gonna kick things off with a warm up. We're gonna go through some pull ups and then we're gonna start with some hand cleans. So here we go, we'll get after it. All right guys, the warm up, the staple, one of my bread and butters, we're gonna get some pull ups. I've been starting to do them weighted. If you can't do them weighted, that's fine. Just do as many pull ups as you can. You'll eventually get better at them. So we're gonna do five sets of this warm up. We're gonna start with pull ups. Right now I have the weighted pull up. I'm just gonna do as many as I can with the weight. So I got five there. I'm doing five sets of 10, so I gotta bang out another five with no weight. We're gonna follow this right end to 25 push-ups. So we'll get 25 push-ups. You can do any, vary up the grip, however you want. And now we're going to get 10 feet to bar. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, then lastly, we're just gonna bang it off with a minute jump rope. So I got the jump rope right here. All right, so there we have it. We banged out the warm up. You're gonna get 50 pull ups, 125 push ups, 50 toes to bar, and then five minutes of jump rope. So you should be feeling nice and warm by now. Now, we're gonna move it into the first explosive movement, which is the hang clean. And I'm gonna go over the form. Clean is a pretty important exercise. You're gonna see this a lot in college lacrosse weight rooms. You're either gonna be doing the full clean, the hang clean, or the full snatch and they're like pretty much Olympic movements, uh, similar to like the squat and the deadlift. The clean is great because it's like a total body uh, movement and there's like some technique to involve it that you want to make sure you get right so you, you know, can not get injured and build your strength. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off the bar, my feet, my hands are gonna be pretty much like shoulder width apart. I'm gonna pull it off. 
And I'm gonna get feet pretty much shoulder width apart as well, get this like nice little athletic stance. And I'm gonna, my first move is I'm gonna pull with my shoulders, extend, and then I'm gonna dip below. So it's, and then when I'm coming up, I want my elbows to be up. So just to keep on showing you with the non-weighted bar in slow motion, it's gonna look like this. You wanna fire the hips forward first while you're pulling the shoulders up. So it's gonna be this. And then when I can't pull up any more further, I'm gonna dip below it. So you'll kinda of see like that. So it looks like that. It takes a while, it's like a technique. This is like, you know, this exercise has a lot of technique to it. So you're gonna, it's gonna take a while to get it down, kinda of like a golf swing. You can even leave your feet a little bit to get that. Well, there I got like a mini jump. All right, so that's kind of the basic movement of the clean. And the clean's a little bit easier than the, the half clean, the hand clean's a little bit easier than the full clean in terms of your starting from a raised position, whereas with the full clean, which I'll go over in another video, you start from the ground. So in today's workout with the hand clean, we got four sets of eight. So we're just gonna bang out the first set right here. And I'll show you how it looks. You're gonna feel it. It's gonna get the heart moving. Total, like I said, total body exercise. We're doing four sets of eight. So you can bang those out on your own. All right, so we banged out the warm up, banged out hand cleans. Now we got our first super set. We're gonna have a dumbbell bench with a variation with the tempo, which I'm gonna explain to you. And then we're gonna combine that, superset that with a seated row again with some tempo. On one of my articles that I wrote on my website in the weight room with an NFL strength coach, I talk about Steve Saunders, who's the owner of Power Train, is the head strength coach for the Baltimore Ravens. And he talks about intensity in a lift consisting of two different things. One, like your rep range, so like how many times you're doing it, and two, like the tempo. So the tempo is basically how fast and how slow you're bringing the weight down, okay? So on this one, we have, this is gonna be, this dumbbell bench exercise is gonna have a lot of time under tension. So you're gonna be, your muscles are gonna be engaged with the weight for a long period of time. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start up top, it's gonna be a double pause. We're gonna be with a hammer strength grip, so like my wrists are gonna be positioned this way, I'm gonna come down, pause, I'm gonna come down, pause, and then up. So those pauses are really putting your muscles under a state of tension for the entire time. So you're gonna be burning after you finish this lift. So this rep range is anywhere from six to eight reps. So you wanna pick your weight accordingly. So I'm gonna pause, pause, up, that's one. Pause, pause, up, that's two. Pause, that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So after that eighth rep, I'm really feeling it in my chest, my upper body from all that time under tension. So we're gonna superset this with a seated row with a neutral grip, which is this handle right here. You can pick any handle you want, your gym has. You also wanna just pick your weight accordingly. We're gonna have 
So this tempo again is going to be the same thing, the same deal. We're not just going to go down and back. We're going to come in, pause, and we're going to release it on a three count. Three, two, one for eight reps. So I'm here, pause, three, two, one. Nice and controlled. Pause, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one, three. Pause, three, two, one, four, four more. Pause, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. When you're pausing the back, you really wanna squeeze your back. Squeeze it together so you can really feel it. Three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So we're gonna do this superset three rounds. So we just banged out the first one, so you can do two more on your own. All right, last circuit of the day for today's upper lift is we have landmine rows with a superset of single arm shoulder press with a dumbbell. Landmine rows are great because they work really work on your rotational movement, which is great for lacrosse for like when you're throwing and catching, shooting, whatever it is. So we're gonna do this both ways. First time I'm gonna to go to the right, I want you to keep your arms straight. Um, so you're basically locking your elbows. When I turn to my side, I'm gonna move my left ankle, as you can see. So I'm spinning it towards my right foot. We got an eight each side. You can increase the weight if necessary. That's eight there. We're gonna do eight. This side. So you're gonna bang out eight there. All right, and the last thing was you have single arm, dumbbell, uh, press. Single arm, dumbbell, press. So here, you're gonna kinda of have like a staggered stance. You're gonna come up and you're down on a four count. So you're down real controlled. One, up, four, three, two, one, two. Up, four, three, two, one, two. Up, four, three, two, one. You're gonna do 10 each arm. Two more here. Coming down real control, more time under tension, you're really gonna feel burning. All right, then we're gonna get the last arm. All right, so I want you doing three total rounds of that, and that finishes off the lift. Guys, if you like this video, like I said before, make sure you just subscribe, hit the like button also. I got a ton of programs if you wanna take it a step further. I got stuff all mapped up for you. There's a link, my top program is BTB LX Plus. The link is right here. Just click on it, it'll take you right there. You can get yourself started right away. Hi, right, Coach Miller, talk soon.